Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I potty trained, well not so much potty trained my bearded dragon, but taught him how to use the bathroom not in his tank. So I'm going to show you the first method. Um, this method is sometimes used and I found it online and I tried using it, but it's a little time consuming and it just didn't work for me, but I'm going to put it in here anyway just in case you guys want to try it and you can let me know if it works for you, but it didn't work for me. So, first off, what you're supposed to do is put a paper towel over the area your bearded dragon goes to the bathroom, so he starts going on the paper towel. Then what you want to do is get your substrate and put it on top of the paper towel, so your bearded dragon gets used to going on the substrate. But you're supposed to add a little at a time. And then, once you're finished with that and he starts going to the bathroom on that, then you can get a tray, and this will be your litter box. So what you put on the tray is the paper towel, and then you start them off again. So you put the paper towel down, and once they go in the paper towel, put the substrate down, and then they'll start going on the substrate. Once they start going on the substrate, then you can just get rid of the paper towel and leave the substrate on there, and it's supposed to just make them use the bathroom and starting them to use it on the tray. But this didn't work for me, and it didn't work for Fitz. He just gets too impatient, and I get aggravated. So I'm going to show you guys my method. This has been the fastest and easiest way for me. So once I get home from school, I've noticed him that he doesn't really use the bathroom until later that night. So this is a good thing. If you come home and your bearded dragon did not go to the bathroom yet, you're going to want to start taking him out of his cage. This will show him that this is going to be the time he uses the bathroom. So you want to keep the times pretty like persistent and you want to start doing it at the same time every day. So what I did was I grabbed his treats and his tail. I'm going to use my sink for an example. What you're going to want to do is fill your sink, tub, or whatever you're going to be teaching your bearded dragon a potty train in with warm water. If you didn't know already, bearded dragons usually go to the bathroom faster in water. So this will teach them that they're supposed to use the bathroom in the water. Once they've used the bathroom in the water, you can take them out and just take out the rest and dispose of that properly. After that, I normally just dry my bearded dragon off. Then I take him back into my bedroom and I give him a treat. This will show them that that's good behavior. And then you can just put them back in their tank. Eventually, they'll just keep learning as you do this every day over time that they shouldn't go in their tank, they should go in the water. So I recommend starting this on a weekend because it's just a lot easier and you're able to monitor them. So if you successfully did this, your bearded dragon, about in about a week, well mine really took like three days, but your bearded dragon's tank should look really clean and you won't have those nasty stains, except cricket legs because he never eats those. And yeah. And if you're like me and you have like dog poop bags, you really don't need those anymore. Well. You can save them just in case because if you're not home one day and you come home late and he uses the bathroom, you might want to save those just in case. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching!